Hey guys, <laughs> uh, it's been a long time no see. I feel like I should upload my past vlogs that I have um, in my phone. I have some footage from when I was pregnant. I might just put that all in and just put it up so you guys can see what has been going on. We've been in our new house for about three weeks now and it's still like halfway set up. Like I have the, the dining room set up, the living room is not really set up because I still need a couch. I'm in the process of looking for a couch and also looking for um, fabric to redo the couches. So that's going on. I feel like so much is happening all at once, but not at the same time. Like, I don't know. We leave for Anaya's graduation in two weeks. Her college graduation you guys were there for her high school graduation and now she's already about to graduate from college so this shall be interesting this will be my first time traveling with an infant no well my own child I will say I've traveled with Shayna with her kids before um, so I just need to book our tickets and then I have to read and see what is okay and not okay to bring um, like will I be allowed to fly with breast milk questions um, so today is one of those days I feel like I might need some coffee we're making lunch right now um, and then I also in order for me to uh, produce more breast milk which has really been a struggle for me I'm not too sure why and I've seen my lactation consultant and she's not too sure why and we have just been going back and forth so I ordered two things it's called oat seed um, I think it's also called milky oat I have it written down and then I have mother's lactation I'm also taking the lactation tea just to make sure that I'm tr producing I'm producing but not enough not for his age um, so that's it's been a struggle it's been like a round-the-clock thing I'm not too sure what's going on um, and I went back to see my doctor and she's like just keep at it keep at it keep at it so that's what I'm doing but anywho I wanted to oh and I have some my ear is like muffled I don't know so yeah uh, I'm gonna sit down at the computer I just bought some new headphones I don't need to connect it to the computer so I can edit silently that way and um, we're talking about doing some new videos and I just got to get back on it it's just been a lot because of moving and trying to get the house in order and things are crazy um, concentration is very short I washed my hair today but I'm thinking about doing a mommy makeover meaning I want to color my hair trim my hair um, Get these eyebrows together even though they're super full like for the first time in forever super full so not bad the only problem is this one's fuller than this one this one I have a scar on the top of it and this one I have the scar I have a scar here and on this side too but um yeah so we're gonna sit down and try to get some work done and I think I'm gonna edit those videos to get them up just so I can get them out of the way and you guys can see what the last couple weeks were like for me in pregnancy and now in motherhood and we'll get it going so I'll be back hey guys back again <laughs> we'll just get a package from my best friend it's right here in the background and I want to open it, but little mister is awake. I think I'm going to put him in his little bouncer that um, Anaya brought him. Bought him. And I think I want to go through that stuff to see what I can put away, right? And I'm still stuck here. I'm, I've been trying to find a new desk for myself because um, this area is a little different. The desk that I had just wasn't going to work. So I need to get um, a new desk. And I have these things to put away as well. Well, that bin I could just throw it in the closet. You say hi? He's getting so big. He's seven weeks old today. Or yesterday you made seven weeks, right? You say hi? Look, baby. His hair is so funny. We washed it today, or I washed it today. And he laid down for a second for like a quick little nap. And his hair, the hair was curly. It's just all over the place. <laughs> and 
<laughs> yeah. You say hi. Look, say hi. I can't believe I have a kid. This is weird. So weird. Yeah, I'm going to make it here in an hour. Say hi. Oh, that was good. Mama needs to get her life together. You don't care. As long as you're fed, right? And clothed, you're fine. Real quick, so I ordered stuff from the um, Gro Grove Collaborative, which I think is really cool. They sent this, I believe this was a part of the welcome kit. Um, it's a 16 ounce spray bottle for, it's glass cleaner, which I think is really cool because you get like a reusable um, container. <laughs> oh my gosh, these kids. Reusable container. And let me just show you. So it comes like this. Move that that's toilet cleaner I also ordered and it comes like this see it's a twist off top so I twisted it off and I squeezed all of it in there and on the bottom it says add 16 ounces of water so I just put water and I think this is really cool I think this is a cool way to have reusable products in a safe bottle so I actually should go on the website and see how much the refill is Ooh. Maybe I should do this in a sink. Um, I wonder if they have, oh, okay. Then I put this on. I wanna see how well it will clean. My bathroom mirror is dirty right now from brushing our teeth and stuff. How oh, cool, I love this idea. So let me see. Okay, so this is the before. Oh, so it's off. Okay, let's see. Okay. I just have a rag. Hey guys! Set up the little camera in the car. Um. I'm gonna try to get home without GPS. Uh, if you guys don't know, I have moved and this area is a lot like um, where I used to live in New York. But obviously New York, I grew up, was born and raised there, grew up there and I knew my way without needing GPS. Here I need GPS literally for everything. So for the past two years of living in California, <laughs> I've needed GPS for everything. I think I turned here to get out. So. I just had to go to UPS and drop off my desk. I bought a desk earlier this week, but it arrived broken, so I had to return it back. Um, and instead of just reordering it, because it was gonna take another week and change, and I just really am in a place where I wanna get my house together, I just decided to go to Ikea, and I bought some things that can kinda go together, and we'll just see how it works out. I said if anything, um, I'll just end up getting contact paper to recolor um, my Alex drawers. I'm kind of sick of the Alex drawers because you actually can't get into them all the way, like as deep as I would want to go. So I don't know. Uh, this week, I really need to get my life together. My sister gave me a pep talk. I'm in this place of where I'm not sure if I want to go, no, 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 yeah. I'm not sure if I want to go back to work full time again for the company that I was working for because I spoke to my, I actually spoke to my DM. Um, yeah, so I'm in this position of where I'm not sure if, not that I want, if I want to go back to work, if I can go back to work, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think it's smart to go to work if I really don't have to and pay somebody, a babysitter, um, pay them to watch my kid and what I'm really like once you okay so say how can I explain it say I make $15 an hour right and the babysitter is $10 an hour that means before taxes I'm only making $5 an hour to go to work when really 
I could just stay at home and watch my own kid, you know? Um, I don't really have to work out of the house because um, Dave makes enough money that we, we will be fine. Um, it's more of me choosing to go back to work. So I'm in this place of where I don't want to lose myself. I don't want to be out of the game of working and working in my industry for a long time um, and then have to kind of start back from square one. I was promised so many things, but upon speaking to him, it doesn't really seem like those promises will come to fruition super um, super soon. I, I want it to be within the next like three months of me going back. I wanted to move up because right now I'm I'm a visual I'm the visual manager for a store. I was visual manager for like a five million dollar store. Then I moved down to um, the Long Beach location, which I want to say was close to a million dollar store. Not exactly sure, but um, and I want to move up to being a, whole, a full district, so I would have about like ten stores that I oversee. That's the, like my ultimate goal for the company unless I'm working in corporate doing like buying or something like that but I wanted to go back and oversee those amount of stores but from speaking to him since I've been out a couple other people went up the ranks I've been out of work since um, my maternity leave started January 14th and my the first part of your maternity leave is six weeks and if you want to go and continue <gasps> oh my to bees and I don't want to get stung and I have to pull the car over please don't sting me please don't sting me I don't know where it went please Lord please don't sting me please don't sting me okay 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 all right okay I make it okay okay oh my god I'm not sure where it went Okay, number one, don't laugh. Number two, definitely don't laugh because if I would have gotten stung and stung in this car by myself, I'd be in some serious trouble. Now, here's a funny thing. I rolled the window. Um, I rolled the window up and the, the car is too high. And I, if I don't have to use air air, I won't. So I just open the, the, the windows and look at that, a freaking, freaking bee. What was I even saying? I was talking about work, if I wanna go back. Um, so anyway, so I was talking to my friend that lives out here and she's like, listen, Cheryl, don't stress yourself out. Like, if you can go back to what you were doing in New York, do that. Which I think I'm going to, it's, it's, I, I, I'm still just very unsure. Like, I just feel like if I don't go back to work, I wasted a year and a half of what I was doing. If I do go back to work, I don't want to be underpaid, overworked, and resenting the fact that I said, okay, I'm going to come back. And now I've put maybe a, a person or two out of work because I've come back and they've moved things around and, you know, just to make things work for me. Because I, what I do, I'm really, really good at. I do visuals and I'm, I also have to sell with a part of my job and I actually hate selling, but I'm really good at it. I come from a background of sales. My dad was a salesman, my mother, like, I got home without GPS. Um, so I'm really good at sales, but I prefer to just do visual things and make things look good and make moves to, to, to sell those products that are not being sold or whatever it is. I, I prefer doing visuals with sales, but not selling to people, not on the sales floor, if that makes sense. Um, when I set up my sales floors, I look at um, reports and see my best sellers, worst sellers, what's a median seller, what is something that sells that I could I could put some the underseller with the best seller to, to push sales in that way. So I'm really good at stuff like that. I'm a very visual person. I can see things before others see things. Um, I feel like a lot of times with in my store, I can call a trend before the trend hits the store. 
Um, and it's and I don't feel like I should have to be on my knees begging somebody to see my worth and see what I could do. It should just be like, let's give her a shot. And if she can't do it, we'll just switch her position or she's got to find a new position. I'd rather that. I like to be tested every day. I like to... Um, feel challenged every day especially in a job that I have to be there for how many hours especially if I'm gonna be away from my child I need to feel that I'm um, not worthy of the position but I'm being challenged in the position that I have so yeah so I don't know I think I might take another couple like maybe um, maybe another week or so to figure out what I really really want to do and if I should do and if I have to do speak talk it over with David Shane has already given me a pep talk as we speak right now um, I'm getting my recording space together um, so I can get back with my reviews and just talking to you guys and postpartum all that stuff um, and I just want to set up my channel for success because I really feel like I can touch many lives. I actually got a, um, a message this morning saying from a friend saying like, thank you so much. You, you inspire me without knowing that you're inspiring me or inspiring other people's lives. You have and you are. So that really lifted my spirits today too. Um, so I'm back home. There we go. They're waiting for me. I have to show her this clip of the bee. Hold on. BRB.